Hello everyone, this is a short preview of Huddle Huddle Bitcoin Exchange. It's a P2P Bitcoin Exchange and I'm going to demonstrate how to trade Bitcoins in our testnet version of the exchange. So the Bitcoins are not real, we're not going to lose any money. And to do that we have this basic setup of two windows and I'm going to log in using my usual credentials in the first window. And let's say let's say I want to sell some Bitcoins to one of the traders on the website. So to do that I go to the sell Bitcoin section of the website and you can see that we have a lot of pre-generated fake users with offers that you can take a look at. And uh, let's say I want to trade Bitcoins with Megan. So I go to Megan's offer but to trade Bitcoins with her we would need Megan to be on the website and for that I would use the window on the right and I'm going to log in using Megan's credentials and actually anyone can do that anyone can log in with any fake user that you see on the testnet version of the website and to do that you can use the email which would always be username at huddlehuddle.com and the password is always password so this is how I'm able to log in as Megan all right so now I'm going to try to sell Megan half a Bitcoin and for that I need to select the payment method and so those payment methods are the ones that Megan can use to pay me for the Bitcoins and what I need to do is to specify my payment details the account number in the system which is Skrill in this case um, so she would be able to send me money and then I click accept offer and create contract and you can see that Megan gets the notification immediately so she knows a new contract has been created but there's a slight difference between the two windows here on the left you can see that the uh, contract volume is 0 0.5 bitcoins and here it's uh, slightly less and this is because the exchange takes a small commission for each trade now the first thing I need to do is to create a payment password I actually need to do that only once because that's my first contract and payment password is basically your private key that you use to um, lock the funds and then unlock the funds from escrow and this is the uh, Bitcoin address to which I would need to send the Bitcoins this is an escrow address so that Megan knows that it's safe to send me money for the Bitcoins and that's what I'm going to do using my uh, Bitcoin wallet. It's a testnet Bitcoin wallet. Okay, 0 0.5 Bitcoins and click send. Here we go. So now I need to tell the website that I sent the Bitcoins so we can detect the transaction and you can actually click on the transaction ID and uh, see for yourself that this is a P2SH address and everything's fine so now the funds are locked in escrow and you can have a small actually take a look there's a um, there's a breakdown of the transaction um, you can see there's a transaction fee and you can see how much is the exchange commission and all that and now you can chat with Megan and uh, she's letting me know basically that uh, she's in the process of sending funds on Skrill and I say thank you I'll wait as soon as she sends those funds on Skrill she uh, would have to click the uh, I've sent the payment button in the window on the right and you can see contract status has changed uh, to paid and now my job would be to go to my Skrill account and make sure the funds um, the funds are there and after I make sure that's the case I can click the uh, release deposit button and enter my payment password now you can see this is Megan's address to which the bitcoins are going to be released so I enter my payment password and then I click confirm release from escrow
and now the contract is completed and you can see the release transaction ID um, you can click on it once again and uh, take a look at the amounts that have been sent this is the amount that Megan received and this is exchange commission so everything's fine everything's correct so now the last thing I have to do is to to leave Megan a good review and she would do the same for me which would affect both of our ratings on the website so other traders know that we are reliable counterparties and so immediately you'd be able to see your review in my profile updated and um, affecting my rating here it is well this is it thanks for watching go ahead and try it for yourself if you need additional instructions or if you have questions feel free to ask us on our telegram channel the link is on the screen and obviously don't forget to follow us on twitter in the next videos i'm going to go through more complicated cases such as creating your own offer using filters to search for offers refunds and dispute resolution all of that thanks a lot for watching and have a good day